Good morning, or shall I say good afternoon? It's afternoon right now. It's been a very busy morning. I've gone to Greg and had my hair cut, which I'm very happy about. And as you can see, we're dressed up because today I'm heading down to London for a Baluti press event, which I'm really looking forward to because they've actually just dropped a new golf collection. It looks insane, very pricey, but it does look incredible. So I look forward to going and checking that out, particularly the golf bag. Oh, just looks next level. So I also need to pick up some shoes from Arthur Sleep. As you can see, the room, I've just been filming a quick TikTok and uh, outfit of the day video for Instagram, but I'm currently in the process of packing because Lids and I are heading off to Ibiza. So before I head down to London, I thought I would quickly share with you my outfit of the day because I'm really happy with this one actually. I feel like I'm channeling my smart casual uh, attire at the moment to my liking. So this jacket, a very special jacket, it has to last me the majority of my life. It's called a travel jacket and it's from Anderson and Shepherd, who is also the King's Tailor. I actually talked about this in my last video, so I'm duplicating it. I'll stop talking. If you wanna go and find out more about this jacket, is in the back end of uh, last week's vlog. But a really lovely jacket. It's the first time I'm gonna be wearing it out. Teamed up with my herringbone trousers from Dries Van Noten, my Crockett & Jones brown brogue boots, which are the model I lay. And then I've used that little silk and cashmere scarf that I also picked up just to uh, stick under a cashmere knit from Theory. And I think it works really nicely. So yeah, happy with today's look. It feels nice, very comfortable, and it's gonna keep me warm because it is still quite chilly out at the moment. So I'm gonna head down to London now. And as you can probably hear by my voice, I'm rushing around, out of breath. And so I'm gonna jump in the car and try not to be any later than I already am. Just touched down in London and we are approaching the Baluti store, Lalique, looking very nice. Well, we have arrived to the Baluti press day and this new collection is called The Great Escape and it's split into four chapters. The chapter that you're looking at here is called Summit Icons. It's kind of like reinvented key wardrobe staples and you'll see that they've got some of their signature details such as the Baluti knot, which you'll just be able to see just here. And again, they've just gone for slightly more functional but elegant style. They also have this new silhouette. This is called the Vitello and you've got a nice white pair of sneakers here and they've got this rubber sole. And then the second chapter is Ascend's Play. As you can see, it's got that varsity and sporty element to it. The kind of color palette I guess we're seeing a lot here is that sort of burgundy and the greys and then a touch of blue. But really in this collection, we're seeing a real nod to that more sporty casual element. I absolutely love the color, so nice. And then if we work our way through, I'll share with you the third and fourth collection. We'll just wait for the people to pass. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was launched in 2019. Okay. And it's been such a success. And also from like press perspective. And so yeah. we're just doing new colorways and yeah. uh, materials and just new versions it's every just, season now. It's just really nice to have yeah exactly well that's the whole point and i think like you know all the a lot of the men around the uh, around the office wear them with like suits and it, yeah. just, it looks yeah, yeah, really yeah. really chic when you're even though it's pair of trainers so. yeah did you prefer them out with the laces out or in out out yeah i mean it's more of a clean look when they're in but yeah they're quite um quite stable aren't they like the piping on the Piping on the shoe really like it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's comfy, isn't it? Oh, no, they're like wearing socks. Yeah. They're so nice. So these are called the shadow sneakers, and I think that these would be a lovely addition for a pair of trainers that you want to wear when you're trying to smarten up a look but stay super comfortable for that kind of like sporty athleisure kind of feel. And they've of course got a nod to Baluti with the leather on the tongue and again on the heel. Super light, all stretch fabric, so extremely comfortable. And these are an eight and a half. I think I'm possibly gonna be an eight, which will mean that they're true to size. They've got a load of color variations. These right here are their navy color. And again, they've got the leather tongue, heel, rubber sole. So we're gonna quickly slip these on and then make a decision as to which ones 
or which size should I say we go for. They've got such a nice silhouette to them. They're really narrow around the middle of the foot, just as where the arch is, and then they just come protrude out nicely to a slight point. They're so nice. Okay, well, I think I'm sold. I'm gonna be going for the Baluti Shadow Sneaker in brown with the white pipe in. And I'm gonna go for my true size, which is size eight. How nice are they? They've actually got a new collection of updated shadow sneakers that are coming out in September. They've got this shoe in a cashmere. Wow, absolutely stunning. And so you have to keep an eye out for those. But these are hopefully, if they've got my size in store, coming home with me today. Okay, so here we have chapter three. This is called the Ridge and Travel collection. So as you can see, they've got this absolutely beautiful luggage, which is a combination of this scripture, which was actually taken, I think, from their um, HQ in Paris. And then they finished it off with this stunning, I'm gonna say burgundy leather. Do you call the colour of this grape? Did I hear no, you say? No, this isn't the grape, so we just call this brown. Just calling it brown? I see, I see red undertones in this. I think there definitely is, but it's yeah. not. It's not like that grape. That kind of yeah. grape, yeah. And then here are the cashmere shadow sneakers that are coming out in September. Again, got that lovely patina effect. It's been painted onto the leather. It's a real signature of Baluti they will be incredibly comfortable and then just behind lovely two-piece cashmere suit really functional for travel because of course it won't crease up too much so it means you can hop on and off planes not compromising on your style and then these are some of the other colorways from the shadow collection so we've got gray navy this is another take on the brown with the scurrito scripture on the side and then if we take a little move around you'll see that this is the peak chapter chapter four we've got this huge puffer which is actually using loro piano fabric and then again bluti scrito scripture just on the windshield that runs on the inside of the zip all of the leather tabs and everything on the jackets that you can see here this is all very cohesive with the accessories so you'll see this on the bags and it kind of like flows throughout as a bit of a signature to Baluti's brand and so yeah that completes the great escape collection i'm just currently waiting to see if they've got my shoes which you can see just there in my size and then we're going to move on and start getting packing i said i'll buy the lower end of the v6 well, made it home from London and it is now time to start packing for the morning's travels. We're getting picked up at around about 7, 7.30, so I need to make sure that I've got everything ready. But I had a really lovely trip to London, actually. I didn't pick up what I was looking for, which I was actually after some gym t-shirts. That's really the main thing that I was focusing on trying to pick up. But I did visit Gymshark on Regent Street and I picked up a few pairs of gym shorts. So these should serve me very well whilst we're out there. I got a brown pair, a sage pair, which I wasn't too sure on, but they're such great value. I thought if I don't wear them whilst we're away, I'll certainly wear them around the house with a white t-shirt in summer. A pair of black running shorts, and a couple of pairs of jogger shorts as well. So that will do me nicely. In Baluti, um, just before I left, the guys very kindly gave me a golf gift. And of course, this is to celebrate Baluti's golf collection. The stuff is phenomenal, just as you'd expect. High quality, beautifully finished clothing. The golf shoes looked too good to wear. Inside here, you'll see that we have a Baluti golf hat. It's got the leather adjustment on the back with the V for Baluti on the front. And then inside here, got a sports towel. Ooh, this will be a pitch repair. Yes, lovely. So we have a Baluti ball marker some tees and a pitch repair. And I probably will not hit these on the golf course. I mean, I will at some point. These are the Baluti golf balls. They're Titleist Pro V1s. And I'll just get them out and show you. 
and you'll see that they've been marked with blue tea on the side. A very nice touch. Looking forward to getting out, as you know, a bit more this year and uh, getting onto the golf course. And so it's very nice to have some Baluti stuff amongst my wardrobe. And the shoes in here are the shoes that I tried on um, in store, the brown shadow sneakers. Absolutely stunning. And I look forward to styling these up during my stay in Ibiza. Probably the nicest trainers that I own. But anyway, the oven was beeping. I need to go down and stick in uh, the second part of our dinner. We're just gonna have a chicken pasta bake and garlic bread this evening. And then I'm gonna get busy up here packing my suitcase. <sighs> smells so good, that stuff. I know you're probably gonna wanna know. Ernesto is the name of this particular room fragrance and it is beautiful. Very hard to come by as well in a candle form. Anyway, Ibiza, if you didn't catch last week's video, then you should definitely go and enjoy that because it truly was a special experience. But I've quickly sat down here today because I'm bringing this week's Sky Cinema movie and it's a good one. To Catch a Killer, it's coming out on the 27th of May and I have to say this is possibly, I'm going to go as far as saying this is my favourite Sky Cinema, Sky Original to date. It's an adrenaline fueled thriller starring Charlene Woodley who's a troubled but talented rookie detective and she's been given the opportunity to prove her worth in this very high profile case. The film starts as she's called to a brutal mass shooting on New Year's Eve and she discovers the meticulous work of a new and terrifying murderer. The police and the FBI then launch a nationwide manhunt but they're stopped at every turn by the murderer's unprecedented behaviour. The film kind of encourages you to think like a detective. How would you move in this scenario? What avenues would you go down to try to uncover who this individual is. Eleanor, in this case, really does have to think outside the box. It's a gripping Sky original, and of course you can watch the trailer to this in my description box down below. The second film not to miss this month is another Sky original, and it's called Deadshot. The film's about a retired Irish paramilitary who witnesses the fatal shooting of his wife by an SAS officer. After outwitting the SAS and presumed dead, he then takes to the dark and paranoid streets of 1970s London. This month's pop-up, Fast and Furious, can be enjoyed on Sky Select from the 13th to the 25th of May. If you're into cars and you like lots of action, then this definitely could be a space for you. Now, before we move on, don't forget to check out the trailers in the description box down below. I'd love to hear what you think of the two films, and in particular, of course, Catch a Killer. I thought it was a fantastic film, and I hope that you can enjoy that one as well. I look forward to bringing you more films each month with Sky Cinema. I've been invited this evening by a friend called Darren. I actually met him at the DNA dinner about two months ago and it just so happens that his company has a box at the Emirates Stadium and as an Arsenal fan it just felt very natural that we headed down together and watched the game and so it's going to be my first game of the season and I used to go to the Emirates quite a bit. My dad was a season ticket holder and I actually collaborated with Arsenal once or twice on their hospitality, but I haven't been able to get down of late. I've been trying to book it in with a few friends and we just haven't managed to align dates. And so I'm really looking forward to going down and hopefully lifting the team's luck because Arsenal have had an incredible season, but of late they haven't been doing so well. I think there's a lot of pressure on their shoulders. Man City are doing really, really well. They're looking very strong. And so maybe me turning up, little lucky mascot, fingers crossed that we take the win this evening. So I'm gonna drive over to Darren's now. We're gonna be getting a driver take us down. We're gonna have a bit of food in the stadium before the game, and then we'll be heading home. So. I thought I would, as always, quickly show you what I'm going to be wearing. There isn't a dress code. I was told to dress quite casual, and so I've gone for this cashmere theory jacket, which is kind of like an overshirt with buttons. And then I've got a John Smedley knit underneath, my grey Jerry and Noten trousers, and my Crockett and Jones boots. So, as always, nice and earthy in my colour palette. But I will uh, catch you in a moment when we are at the Emirates. <laughs>
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was really hoping that I wasn't going to have to do this, but yesterday I went out and took a look at the beehive and there's still water getting into the tray at the bottom. And so that hole was filled. I replaced the roof. So I know that it's not the roof that's leaking. There's actually no water sitting on top of the ground board either. So I'm not quite sure how it's getting in. It could just be that there's been movement and the, um, the actual box itself is seeping water and so because i'm going to be going away tomorrow i need to do this now it's a bit last minute um a bit late in the day as well but i need to get it done because the bees can't get wet it won't be good if they get wet and so i'm going to replace the whole brood box which means taking all of the bees out of one box and putting them into another which i'm just going to go in there and just swap them over put them back where they were originated and uh, just leave them be. I'm not going to be doing anything else whilst they're out there. It needs to be quick and need to be fast and I'm going to have to apologise to the bees because they're not going to like it. I'm going to go in there and uh, turn their house upside down. So I just want to get in and out really quickly and then, fingers crossed, uh, when I get back I'll find a dry tray at the bottom. And then I'll have to spend a little bit of time looking at the brood box that's out there at the moment to see how and why there's water getting in. So that's what we're going to be doing. I've just started to get a little bit of a headache. I'm not sure why. Maybe I haven't drunk enough water today. Last night, as you know, I went to the Arsenal and um, I'm just wondering whether that late night has just caused me to be a bit tired and a bit dehydrated. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get out and uh, get this job done so we can hopefully get an early night ahead of an early start tomorrow. Okay, so I've just grabbed a new stand and brood box, so that's going to go over now. Just prepped up my smoker, so we're going to be hopefully getting that in the ground very quickly. Also, very exciting news, the kitchen today has just started to go in, the outdoor kitchen. It's looking incredible, so hopefully we'll get an opportunity to uh, see that complete in this video, but you'll get the feel for it right now. So it's an oak with black iron mongery finish and we're going to be having the big green egg here. We're going to be having a sink that sits in the middle here and then we've just got another unit to go in there and then of course the worktops and everything else to go in just to finish it off but it looks so good. Also the wildflowers started to come up. Get some little pink flowers. Okay, so we are back in the UK. We had a wonderful time in America. And just to give you a catch up from where I left off, the bees are absolutely fine. I've checked on them today, which is almost a week since we did that transfer. And there were lots of bees coming in. So we know they're okay. I need to head over there to take the rower tray out to make sure that there isn't water. Now I've replaced the whole unit. There shouldn't be, but we just need to check that. But I thought because it is a lovely evening and it's actually been a really lovely day, we've just had um, a quick shower here. 
I'm going to have a go at putting some string up the side of the shed because the climbers and everything else in fact has just gone absolutely wild since we've been away like everything's thriving apparently this Saturday was really really hot and really sunny and I think that teamed with the rain everything's just gone ballistic so it's really good the garden's starting to really take shape but it also means that I need to quickly get this done because the climbers have got to the point where they've outgrown the canes and so we don't want them to go um, limp we want them to continue climbing and so I'm gonna get busy doing that now and instead of putting the actual tension wires up what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna nail and actually tie string and link it around just to help camouflage it a little bit better against the actual shed itself so as you can see the kitchen is currently covered because um, we're now going to be waiting for the worktops to be templated and we've been having a bit of rain but look how much the wildflower has grown since last week it is completely come to life it's starting to really take shape now the topiaries are growing up and everything is just starting to come together so if i step back you probably get a better perspective of it from back here you can really start to see how the wildflower is bordering the pathways it is coming together very nicely now. We've got lots of pink flowers in here at the moment, which are very beautiful. We also had these dropped off whilst we were away as well, the rose supports. So what we'll end up having is this sort of wildflower. There'll be high, tall roses, and then we've got the topiary as well. So it's going to look really lovely. Nicholson's have done a cracking job of getting this all mapped out for us. Obviously this runs all the way down there as well and around, so it's coming together. We've also just had them plugged with some flowers, so I'm not sure if I can see, you can see here. There you go, there's a plug there, and a plug there. So this was a special request I made for a particular flower, which I actually can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, but it's very beautiful and I'll show you it in the summer when it's up, but for now, because these climbers have done so incredibly well, I'm gonna get working on pinging some string around here. Also, look at the hydrangea Annabelles in their pots. We need to get these planted, because <laughs> they're also doing very well. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the tension of that holds, but I started it just to the right corner and then worked up a little pattern on the apex just to help the climbers cling on. Let me see that. It's probably very difficult to see, but that is kind of the point and the purpose as to why I did it like this, but yeah, we'll have to uh, revisit this in the coming weeks, months, and uh, see how it does. But I'm half tempted as well to trail one just around the outside here as well, just to see if it wants to go along, because that could be really nice as well.
that's about all we have time for this week but as always i'll leave all of the relevant links in the description box down below i hope you have enjoyed this week's video and i look forward to seeing you next wednesday 5 p.m take care Thank you.